Cambodia's civil war and the legacy of landmines left thousands of its people in need of support. 25 years ago, a British charity, the Cambodia Trust, spearheaded the drive to fit prosthetic limbs to those injured. But in Cambodia today, there are new challenges, as Nick Wood reports from Phnom Penh. Ong On has had his prosthetic leg for more years than he can remember. A soldier during Cambodia's civil war, he stepped on one of the millions of landmines that once littered the countryside. It changed my life when I got this limb. I was able to walk again, to live my life and support my family. I'm so grateful for getting this prosthetic leg and it lasted for a long time. The Cambodian School of Prosthetics and Orthotics provides these life-changing limbs free of charge, but times are changing. Cambodia still has a significant problem with landmines, but it's no longer the mine-infested country it once was. As landmine injuries have decreased, so too has the school's funding, threatening their ability to offer these free prosthetics. But as a wealthier middle class emerges, the school has set its sights on attracting a client base who wants, and more importantly, can afford to buy more than the standard prosthetic limb. By offering these top of the range devices to those clients who can afford them, the school can still make their free prosthetic service available to those most in need. We have to find an innovative way to secure the funding. And we explain to our client that we have this initiative, the social enterprise, the private clinic, that we would uh, be able to cater the need with advanced technology and the profit from this private clinic would be put back to the free care that we provide for the poor. Jim Parat lost his left leg in a motorbike accident almost 10 years ago. But with money to pay for a state-of-the-art titanium prosthesis, he's come to the school's new prosthetic and orthotics clinic. I'm very happy to be able to have a choice of prosthesis now in Cambodia. This new titanium limb is much better. It is much more maneuverable, as you can see. When I cross my leg to take off my shoes, it's so much easier to use. Demand for both their free prosthetics and these top-of-the-range models is increasing. People trust in us and the quality that we are providing. The poor who cannot afford to pay, they can still get the, the service for, uh, for free because the income that we generate from the patient who pay for that will come back to this charity work. The school also welcomes students, local and international, which provides a further vital source of income. Are you satisfied with the rotation of the hip? With the money earned from training new generations of prosthetists and with its new clinic allowing people to pay for premium artificial limbs, the Cambodian School of Prosthetics and Orthotics can continue its free support of people like Ong Un for many years to come. Nick Wood, BBC News, Phnom Penh.